students, this is Vishal Sahib here. Uh, today we are going to look at a very unique concept which we had studied during our school days, but are the applications of it. Okay. You remember Pascal's time? Something which we had studied during our school days, where it is giving a, a mathematical triangle. For it was one, start and end with one, one, then the consecutive digits are added together. So what we have is one, one plus one, two and one. Next, one, one plus two, three, two plus one, three and then one. We continue next, we all say it, one, one plus three, four, three plus three, six, 3 plus 1, 4 and 1. I'll take one more, last time. 1, 5, 10, four, 6 plus 4, 10, 5 and 1. And this continues. This is in a form of a triangle. That's Pascal's triangle. What are the applications of this? Okay. I'll tell you easy ways, easy techniques, which are something which will be helpful in doing that. Calculations faster. Like, if you talk about what is any number raised to zero, it is one. So the same concept goes if I talk about powers of eleven. We talk about eleven to the power zero is one. Eleven raised to one, it is eleven. Eleven square, it is one twenty one. Eleven cube. 1, 3, 3, 1. 11 is to 4, 11 is to 5, we don't know. We don't have been taught about it, we not have to remember. But here it is. 11 is to 4 is easy to remember. The past is time has been to us. See here. What is 11 is to 0? 1. 11 is to 1? 11. Here it is. In 1, it is 11. 11 square, it is 1 to 1. 11 cube. I have to remember this 3. It is 11 cube. So 1 3 means it is 11 is to 3. So it is 1 3 3 1. That is 1 4. It is 11 is to 4. That is 1 4 6 4 1. What is 11 is to 5? It's here. But it is not the same way because it's a two digit number. So we have to convert it to a single digit. How do we do that? 11 is to 5 is, go in the reverse order, 1, 5, 10 makes 0, carry 1, 10 makes 1, 11, carry 1, 6 and 1. This is 11 is to 5. Okay. So here, Pascal's triangle is giving us the powers of 11. What are the applications of this? Here it is. You would have studied or you would study in the future simple and compound interest. What is the compound interest formula? A is equal to P into 1 plus R by 100 raised to 10. Right? And you would be given the values of P, R and N and what you have to solve. Whatever the P value, let's say I take R as 10 percent. I use a percent. Because when we solve this further, if I take R as 10 percent, it becomes P into 1 plus 10 by 100 raised to N. When you simplify that, it becomes 1 0 gets cancelled, I get 1 by 10, this is 0.1, this becomes 1.1 raised to N. 1.1 is 11, right? With the divide by 10. So, how would I solve this? Let's say if N was given as 2 years, the money is invested at 10% and it is given as 2 years time, then I will solve this question directly as whatever the P it is going to be 1.1 the whole square. So what would be the answer? Whatever the P multiplied by what is 11 square? 1.21. Just put one point, one point. If N was 3 years, a is equal to P into 1.1 cube, which is 
1.331 and so on. So Pastor Stenders helps us in doing calculations faster. So tomorrow or in the future, you go to a bank, you will do it faster than them because they will say, get me a calculator. You will do it directly. This is Pastor Lager. See the fun here. Pastor Stenders is also giving you powers of 2. That is, if you see here, 2 raised to 0 is 1, 2 raised to 1 is 2, 2 square is 4, 2 cube is 8, and so on. Pass the strand. What is the first thing? 1. So what I get? It is 1. Next is 1, 1. This is 1 plus 1. Next is 1 plus 2 plus 1. Next is 1 plus 3 plus 3 plus 1. Pascal Schneider is giving you the powers of 2 hours. This application of powers of 2 powers Pascal Schneider is also helpful in the chapter of common dictionary combination. Okay, where if you are talking about counting the number of possibilities there when you toss a coin, Pascal Schneider gives us information on that. Where you get the answer directly. The most important thing that I will take it as a separate phase when I do the chapter of competition combination, how past this triangle helps us. But here, the most important thing I have to add here is a binomial theorem which is a plus b to the power n is what? It is what we know as nc0 a raised to n plus nc1 a raised to n minus 1 into p plus nc2 into a raised to n minus 2 into b square and it continues till n c 0 b raised to n plus b raised to n. What is n c 0? What is n c 1? n c 2? This is combination which will have in a higher level mathematics. Okay. Where you have to do a apply a formula and solve. What is generally an n c r formula? Any value when you say n c r is generally n factorial upon n minus r factorial into r factorial you have to apply this at every step for solving and getting the values but Pascal's strengths helps us to a certain level like for example, I will show you an example if I say what is a plus b the whole square formula I will know this this is a square plus 2ab plus b square right what is a plus b, the whole cube formula? It is a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube. This is a formula. Okay, fine, this is a formula. So this is something that we know of as two formulas. But what if it is given up in higher order? If I say a plus b to the power 4, or else if I give you what is a plus b to the power 25 or 100. This is something which we have to use this formula and solve. But to a certain extent, Pascal's time helps. What I want to make an observation here is, see here, what is a plus b, the whole square? What is the numerical value before a square? Nothing. That means it's 1. So this is 1. 1 into any number is the same number. This is 2. This is again 1. Here, 1, 3, 3, 1. Eureka, Pascal's value. This is a Pascal's value. Right? So, if I say, for example, okay, I say, for example, I want to decide, I'll continue here. If I say, for example, I want to find the value of, say, a plus b to the power 5 directly. How do I do that? First thing, a plus b to the power 5. So I know for sure it's power 5, so I have to start with 1 5 of Pascal's triangle. That's the first thing that you should remember. Even if you're talking about square cubes and everything, when you're talking about uh, finding the squares at 11, you can use the same thing. If it's square, 1 2 1. If it's cube, 11 cube, 1 3 3 1. Okay, that's the reason. So here, now in this formula, what we observe? It was power was 2. A was 2, no B is 0. Then A becomes 1, B becomes 1. Next, B square. Here, A takes the full numerical value 3, 
Then A becomes 2, A becomes 1, no A, no B, B raised to 1, B square, B cube. So we apply here. What it is? It will be A raised to 5, then A raised to 4, A raised to 3, A raised to 2, A and then no A. How we have here? No B. I put a plus sign here. Then will be B raised to 1. The sum should be 5. Okay. Next. It will be what value here? B raised to 2. It will be B raised to 3. B raised to 4. And all B raised to 5. But still numerical values are left. What is the power? 5. For 5, we use 1, 5. So it is 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. So this is the benefit of Pascal's triangle. This is something which you derive it by using this formula. You save your time. Same way, in permutation combination chapter and probability chapter, you have to use NCR formula again. These values help us directly. That we'll see in the next class. Okay. So remember, Pascal's triangle is very helpful. It is going to help you in calculation. In Greek methodology, Pascal's triangle value when you convert it to the Greek language, it means eternity. So Mr. Pascal did a very helpful for us for doing the calculation first. Thank you.